A new update is now available for both Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024. No, it's not about software updates, it's the new RAC cycle. Let's roll the intro and then let's look at the details. Air AC cycles, they're happening on a very regular basis, right? Once every month there will be an air AC update, in some cases twice a month, it really depends. And then you will get the air AC update either via Microsoft or a Sobo, right? Depending on which uh, vendor you prefer, or via Navigraph, right? Navigraph only for those who have a subscription. But what is in that air AC? Well, if you look at the description, right, it says it's the airspace structures and routes, which are revised, as well as the navigation aids change, the sits and the stars are amended, the runway and the taxi information changes, which simply means all the navigation things which you need to fly in Flight Simulator 2020 or 2024 will be updated, also known as the uh, navigation databases. Now, the good thing is that they will follow the RAC cycle, which you can find on icao.int. And if we scroll to 2025, we can see that this one, right, the 20th of February, that's today, that's where the new one is active. The next one will be on the 20th of March, then the 17th of, A of April, etc., uh, etc., et right? So these are the dates where you can expect updates, at least for Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024. And that's also being found on the 4R for Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024, because here they say there's a new RAC cycle update. In most cases, there is not, I would say, a lot of information here, right? Because you can see yeah, a new update is available to download for all the players. That's if you're playing 2020 and 2024 also. And that will update the version to 2502. So the cycle always starts with the date and the month, or sorry, the year and the month where this update is uh, being activated. In most cases, it matches the, the month, but not always, as you previously saw on this table, right? Uh, it could be sometimes, say, uh, that there is an update twice a month. So that's nice. But what about if you're using Navigraph? Well, if you're using Navigraph, you need to go to the Navigraph hub. That's where you'll find the update, and you simply press the update option, and there it will update the version. And uh, Navigraph has, I would say, kind of the pattern of releasing multiple updates. And so it's not only a Sobo Microsoft which we are releasing updates, but also Navigraph. And sometimes you will see that it has a different revision number or they increasing the revision numbers each time. So for Flight Simulator 2024, if you want to use the RAC from Navigraph, you can also do it. Keep in mind that these are still in beta, right? So they're not officially released, but that's also good to know. And the last one is, of course, if you're owning a third-party aircraft, which is not part of Flight Simulator, it could be that you need to install it using the add-on packages. Also here, it's really simple, install it, and then you're good to go. Now, if you've got SimBrief, then there are a few things which you need to keep in mind. First of all, right, you've got the account, and in the account, you can activate the latest RAC cycle. In most cases, it's green, but if it's not marked green, make sure that you're selecting the correct one, because you can see that it's valid from today onwards the 19th of March. Uh, right, you can see also that I can switch back to previous ones, but don't do that, because if you then would use... Uh, Simbri for flight planning, you will experience some issues or you might experience some issues because in some cases there are not so much changes in the flight which you plan to do, right? But always keep that in mind. Here it also says update your tools and add on aircrafts using the FMS data manager or using the Navigraph hub, right? For Microsoft Flight Simulator. Since we're playing Flight Simulator for Microsoft, that's the Navigraph hub which we need to use. But what has changed actually? Well, that is always a tricky thing because if you search for uh, Navigraph uh, 25, RAC 2502, right, you might see some information, but it might not be that detailed. If you want to see the details, then the best thing to do is go to the uh, Navigraph uh, forum, right? In this case, it's for an older version, because that contains a lot of information, right? So you can go to the Navigraph hub and then see here if there are some, some things being mentioned. In most cases, you will see some errors and they will fix it a few days later on. Uh, in this case, I don't see that much, uh, to be honest. So let's search for 2502. Uh, 2502. 
and here we see and then this you see that somebody already reported some issues right in this case in the ra 330 they experienced some issues uh so that's always good to understand okay hey and then they provide you of course with some instructions on how to do it on how to fix it uh and then eventually if you uh have the latest you will also be able to use the uh, systems in the aircraft to validate if you got the correct version right the correct version of a navigraph database which you have uh, so that's always nice to have and keep in mind that this is only applicable if you're buying the navigraph uh, subscription because else you are depending on microsoft and asobo releasing those updates and they will also get it from, I say, I think from Jeppesen, right? That's the third party uh, vendor which provides them with the navigation databases. So once you've done that, right, it's simply a matter of starting Flight Simulator. Let's do that. So Flight Simulator 2021. So Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, let's go uh, back into the history, right? For those who are still playing the Flight Simulator 2020, which I do think still a lot of people do, due to the, let's say, several bugs which are still applicable in Flight Simulator 2024. Some people decided to, I say, stay on the older version. If you start it, then it will likely pop up with an update. So let's wait. Uh, until it pops up with that window and then uh, simply install the update and then you should be good to go um, so that's what i'm going to show you shortly and then we want this video because potentially or actually there isn't much that can go wrong to be honest uh, at least i didn't experience any issues the only issue can be that the database is corrupted which happened for flight simulator 2020 i think once which caused some really weird issues and even i would say prevented flight simulator from starting if i'm correct so let's hope that that's not the case. Based on the forum post, which I monitor, I didn't see any issues there. Uh, so it takes a longer time, right, as expected. So let's wait for the uh, intro videos to play and then let's have a look at it. So based on that, I'm also wondering if you are having the Navicrop subscription or if you're using the default RAC cycle from Microsoft and Asobo. So let me know via the comment box below this video because I'm pretty curious how many people are using the Navigraph uh, subscription. And if you are using it, also let me know why you're using that one, uh, I would say, and give it, I would say, the, the, the preference above the World Planner from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I likely can guess, but simply are interested in that. So the wheel is spinning, right? So the video is shown from the Xbox Game Studios. And let's see what it brings up. Normally this will take some time, right? So if you're lucky, then it will take a little bit shorter. I do still think that, let's say, uh, Flight Simulator 2024 starts a lot faster uh, compared to this one. Not sure why, but it loads much faster. Likely due to the fact that there's almost nothing on your machine, right? Most of the things are pulled from the cloud, which also creates some dependencies. And already saw several people who are requesting uh, Asobo Microsoft to work on an offline version that you can download stuff. So let's see, right? Checking for updates and here we go, right? So here's the update. And if we press update, then it will simply install. As you can see, it's a pretty big update, 306 megabytes. And you can see that it updates multiple packages. So besides the uh, navigation databases, they most likely also uh, fix the generic airports. That's what you normally would see also when installing the uh, RAC update. In some case, I'm really wondering what why they need to fix this but likely that has to do with the runway information or maybe some ILS information which has changed so different radio frequencies or something and then simply a matter of waiting until flight simulator 2020 starts for 2024 it's exactly the same process right simply start flight simulator then it will prompt you for an update then after that you will be able to fly and play flight simulator again using the latest RAC update which is RAC cycle 2502 here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button and hope to see you back next time for my new video. Thanks for watching and again, happy flying.